Hello, this week Man Traveller comes to you from West Africa. I'm in Nigeria and the commercial hub of Lagos. I've only got 24 hours here and I'm told the traffic is chaotic. So let's see how much you can fit in. Well, there's no time to waste. Let's go and explore. My good friend here, Kola, who lives four hours north of Lagos in Ikiti State, is here to show me around Lagos. He's come all the way down. What makes Lagos special for you? Yeah, Lagos has been a special place from onset in the 80s, 70s. People move from uh, their states down to Lagos. Igbos, Aousas come to Lagos uh, for one or two things, business and so many other things. So it's a very developed area. And uh, being the point of entry for all goods coming from Asia, America, uh, British, everywhere, they come through Lagos. Okay, and if I had 24 hours in Lagos, what's the first thing you would recommend I go and see? One of the things you see in Lagos is one, the museum. Okay. There's a beach here in Lagos. It's a mixed culture. So if I want to try a traditional Nigerian dish? Eba. Yeah. Okay, what, what is that? That is gari, a produce of cassava. It's been dried up and mixed with hot water okay. to produce the eba. Okay. Uh -huh. The eba can now be taken with vegetable. Now we're on our way to Victoria Island where most expatriates live and uh, hang out. Uh, and we're heading to a beach and I really didn't associate Lagos with beaches and hopefully I'm going to be pleasantly surprised. The Lekki Peninsula is our next stop. <laughs> now if you can drive in Lagos you really can drive anywhere the traffic here is insane just look at this three lanes of traffic going nowhere amongst a sea of activity there's a big market here and to make things even more interesting is the Eid Muslim festival in the middle of August that's when you need an expert driver such as Anthony Yes. Professional. Yes. <laughs> Parking a car here in Lagos can seem a little chaotic. As we arrived here, there was a frenzy of activity people surrounding the car. That's because it's a competition to collect the parking fee. Everyone wants a slice of the cake. to guide me across the precarious rocks here at Babich and who's also telling me to lift my feet is my expert uh, horseman Kunli as we navigate our way to the beach bars and here are the boys Bow Wow and uh, here is the horse by the name of New York my favorite city Here in Lagos, you can buy anything off the street, including sausage rolls. Can I have two, please? Thank you. Thank you. 
and these are mine for 100 Nigerian Naira which is probably around uh, just under 50 pence mid-morning snack <laughs> how is it? <laughs> not the tastiest snack I've ever had I must say but um, taste matches price Finally arrived at the Victoria Island River and it's time for a river ride. And for about 4,000 Nigerian Naira I can get around half an hour on this boat. chap here, Addy, will take me through just what it takes to build a boat. This here is around 20 foot long and will set you back around 900,000 Naira, it's about $670, and takes a week to build. So Addy, how many horsepower will this boat be? Double eight, five. So two times 85 horsepower? Yes. That's some welly. So how many years have you been working here, building boats? Um, one year for past and 25. 25 years? years. And with six months. And that's a long time. So you must be good at making boats. Yeah. You're the uh, best in Nigeria. I have a lot of people's big boats here. So how many boats have you built altogether? Uh, Bill is all of most 40 something pieces. 40 boats? 40 something. 40 something, wow. Yes. Big, junior, senior. So all sizes? 20, 40. Right. Unfortunately, I can't afford one of these. I'd love to. Now this boat isn't quite finished inside, as you can see. A lot of work to be done. You can get an idea of how much space there is here. I've now arrived at a traditional Lagos cafe and I'm eating traditional Nigerian food. Vegetable and goat meat with a traditional Nigerian staple. And all I do is get some in the hand like this. Grab some vegetable. And it's delicious. Give a little spicy but not too spicy. I could live on this all year. Well, I have to say, it's been one of the most chaotic 24 hours of my life. How will I ever forget Lagos? Everything from horse riding on the beach to boat rides on the river. I'll leave you with one of the most well-known local artists, Fella. Well, that's all I've got time for this week, folks. Thanks for watching another Mad Traveller's Global Adventure.